Hi, my name is Femke Kool and I am the Centre Coordinator for the Cambridge Centre for Artificial Intelligence in Medicine. We have seven fully funded studentships available for the next academic year, starting in October 2022. I will now briefly explain our application process to you. If you want to apply, the first step is to go to the website and do an initial application. This is a short form to fill in. Uh, you upload a cover letter and a CV. All of the applications will be looked at by our PhD recruitment committee, who will shortlist candidates. We review uh, all applications on a regular basis. Uh, but don't worry if it takes a while to hear if you're shortlisted. It just means that your application is still under consideration by the committee. And we are just waiting for more applications to come in so we can look at them as a gathered field. The deadline for submitting an initial application is the 1st of April 2022. The shortlisted candidates will then have to do two things. Firstly, they will be set a task to complete. This will be in the form of a test, which you will have to complete within a certain time frame. Secondly, they will be invited to submit their formal application to the University of Cambridge through the university applicant portal. This is where all your uh, qualifications will be checked, language requirements, references, and so forth. After that, if you have been successful in completing the task, we will invite you for an interview, which will take place online. Uh, and then a final decision will be made. If we decide to offer you a PhD position and a studentship, we will make you a conditional offer. This is conditional on, for example, completing your current course with a first or any of the checks that the university has to do through the applicant portal. So things like language tests, your qualifications, etc. You will then have time to meet all of these offer conditions. The deadline for this is the 31st of July 2022 for a start in October. Next, I would like to talk you to some of our most frequently asked questions. The first one is about funding. How much does it cost and will funding be available? If we offer you a studentship, it will not cost you anything. It covers the tuition fees and maintenance costs. The fees will be paid directly to the university and you will receive a maintenance payment for your living costs four times per year. Uh, the second question, does Brexit affect my studies or chances? Um, no. Our studentships cover fees for UK students and for overseas students from anywhere in the world. A question we often get asked is if your background is suitable. Um, all applications are looked at by our committee and are carefully considered on a case by case basis. People come from very diverse backgrounds. Uh, we look at your CV, your cover letter, any transcripts or publications um, and we look at your application in the context of the whole field of applications we receive in that year. <clears throat> so yeah we have people from very different areas coming in and it doesn't mean that you need to have all the skill sets already before starting your PhD because we like to have a wide range of students so we can form good collaborations with each other. Are there any academic conditions? Yes, the um, usual minimum entry requirement is a first class honours degree. Dependent on the applicant's academic background, there may be some more specific requirements, but this is again decided on a case by case basis. Do I need to make contact with potential supervisors before applying? We recommend that you think about who you'd like to work with before you apply, so you can state the names of potential supervisors in your application, but you don't need to make contact with them personally.
before making an initial application. Do I need to write a research proposal? No, we don't require a separate research proposal. However, it is good to put some thought into your proposed area of research, and you can outline this in your cover letter or later in the formal application. There will be a field called research summary where you can put this. Um, this is by no means final, and it can be refined after discussion with your supervisors and collaborators. Can I make more than one application? Yes, you can apply to as many courses as you want. Um, there is a cost attached to the formal application through the university applicant portal. And the fee for that this year is £75 per application. Um, the initial application through our website is free. How long will I have to wait for a decision? The deadline for initial applications for us is the 1st of April. We do receive a high number of applications and we review each one. So it does take us some time to come up with a short list of candidates. This is just to say that you don't have to worry if it takes us a few months to get back to you. The absolute deadline for formal applications is the 16th of May 2022. So we will certainly let you know before that time if you are shortlisted by us. Can you waive language requirements? No, we can't. The uh, university is responsible for language assessments and this is not in our hands. It will be part of your formal application to meet the requirements, um, yeah, the language requirements. Um, there are also language tests available if needed. But this will all be on the postgraduate admissions website, which is postgraduate.study.cam.ac.uk. Uh, start date. Our current PhD studentships are for a start in October 2022. We will run a new application round each year. If you do need to defer your start date, you may be able to defer to a start date in January or April of that same academic year. But it is not possible to defer to the next academic year. If you want to start a year later, you will need to reapply for admission for the following year. That was it. Um, if you have any more questions, I am very happy to help. Um, please feel free to send me an email. So my name is Femke Kool and my email address is fc414 at cam.ac.uk. Good luck. Bye.